After decades really of working with ritual, I want to develop a new style of ritual under the umbrella of Surenda Tantra in this Aphrodite's temple, a temple space where really the gods are going into play, where no one exactly knows what needs to happen. If we can research into what is a natural woman, what is a natural man, and we look for those sudden glimpses into the ancient world, into a magical exuberance that has that wild dance energy to it. It's a wilder rock and roll of ritual, a wilder playing with possibility. There's so much to learn and there's so much to give and receive and there's so much to experience. The main thing really is just letting go, surrendering and just becoming the flower you are and just being. But it is safe and you will be held. You are totally allowed to fall apart. Every piece of you will be found and pieced back together. And you have your clear boundaries and they're respected and met and everyone has their say and everyone is heard and everyone is seen. What is flourishing now is very exciting and I think we're coming to a new stage and I can see the resurge of young women really taking power, owning it, wearing it, you know, bearing it all. Let's explore and create and grow that together. It's a beautiful land and a beautiful community. This is a particularly magical spot where you can really feel that deep connection back with the earth and everything around you. Everyone's so caring and supportive and immediately welcoming you in. Working towards releasing people's anxieties or fears, lack of confidence within themselves, around people. It's done from an angle of wanting to help people. The highlights for me on these weekends has been watching that development in people, including myself. You come with your insecurities and watching people blossom out, really give in to themselves and free them up. Witnessing that is really special to me. Embrace your fears. We all have anxieties, lack of confidence in different areas. Don't let them control your life and don't run away from them. It's a really big step to take if there's strong fears inside you or nervous about coming to something like this. No one's going to judge you, no one's going to make you do anything that you don't want to do. Come and experience the magic. It's definitely surpassed my expectations and it was worth taking a chance on. If you are nervous about it, it's probably a good sign that it's going to have something in store for you. The main thing that attracted me to come is being with nature. It's really wild. It's not just a nice setting. It's authentic and it's real. I felt like afterwards that the whole workshop was purely about the feminine, the natural sexuality that they have, to allow that to flourish, to be released, you know, where it's trapped, and to enjoy that within a space that's held by men, where men are there purely supporting, not trying to get something from the women, not there for themselves, but just the presence and the attention, the allowing of the feminine beauty. And some men may find that hard, you know, because a lot of guys we have needs and we have desires and we don't necessarily acknowledge them. That's a challenge for men to address. Can you hold space for a woman, even be desiring but not acting on it, allow her to express her full sexuality? And men grow from allowing the women to grow, to be fully in themselves, natural. The mystery of it can arise without needing to shape it in some way that's appropriate to the culture. Learning about my boundaries was really useful for me. I really enjoyed just seeing everybody step into their beauty and their grace. It was really nice to have such kind, gentle, allowing masculine energy around, nurturing the nature of this place, the adventure and the wildness. To be able to walk barefoot and swim in rivers naked and waterfalls and climbing inside caves. A deeper connection to nature and a deeper connection to my inner goddess. A deeper appreciation of the masculine and the feminine and the way they come together. I didn't really know what to expect. On all aspects, it's been more than what I could have imagined in my mind. It's been incredible. The spirit of this place, the water, the caves, like the natural beauty is just medicine in itself for sure. I had a beautiful experience where I received a lot of love and touch off seven to ten sisters and really felt held and safe. It's challenging, especially when you are working with different people and new people, but just come really strong in what's right for you and what isn't right for you. With an open mind and no expectations, everything that I expected from it prior to coming isn't what it was at all and that's been a big lesson to me from the weekend. It teaches you just to let things flow. It's not just about surrendering when you're doing the tantra, it's about surrendering to life in general and not trying to control or predict 
or change the past, just be in the moment, be present and just let life flow. By the end I felt genuinely very, very close to everyone who had taken part. For those who feel drawn to the idea of what does my wild natural self look like, through learning some meditation, some body work, but then bring it together in a ritual space where male and female energies are conjoined, all our art, all our concentration, all our consciousness brought to bear where gods can jump in. Dangerous, scary, beautiful, fun.